my third tattoo, I can't show you because then it will probably make this video an 18 plus. But yeah, I have a little heart down here somewhere, which again I got done with Villa. She got a heart as well in the same place but on the opposite side. Um, bit sad, but not really. <laughs> and my fourth tattoo, I have to move the camera to show you this, is on my ankle. Okay. Swallow, it's not finished. It um, needs colouring and stuff, and it was a cheap one that I got done. Her mate's rates and all that, she's neck. Um, so, yeah, there, there's my fat number nine, four tattoos. Number ten, <laughs> um, I am going to be on MTV. Um, about, oh, I'm actually rather embarrassed saying this. <laughs> a few years ago, I worked at a student pub. Um, one of the screen pubs chain in Loughborough, the Phantom, and uh, my friend Andy, uh, who we get on with quite well, um, but we're both rather mad when we get together, um, he suggested, I don't know how we got into the conversation, but anyway, talking about Smarty and saying how um, I have to clean his sheath as part of, you know, routine. And obviously, being a non-hairsy haughty person, he found this utterly horrendous and disgusting, and wanted to see it. So, anywho, he comes up um, with me the following day to the yard, and with another friend, Sam Rose, um, and filmed me cleaning Smarty's sheath. Um, so, yeah, that ended up on YouTube. Please don't go looking for it. It's horrendous. Please, please, please don't. But um, yeah, it's had like nearly two million hits or something like that, and we've had some quite funny comments on it, ranging from "You're not doing it properly. You need to get him hard and things," um, to saying ah, "This is really funny," um, and others saying "Can the girl come and clean mine?" Which is rather gross. In fact, I might edit that bit out. I don't know. About a month ago, Andy gets a message. Uh, randomly from a woman um, on YouTube saying we want to use this video for a new animation that we're doing on MTV called DJ and the Fro. Um, so yeah, he kind of messaged me and said, what do you think? Blah, blah, blah. I said, well, got nothing to lose really. Messaged her back and said, okay, what do we have to do? We have to basically prove we're over 18 and send her like the, um, the original copy. And uh, she also said, well, we get paid $500 each. Um, so we were like, oh, well, you know, if it doesn't, if money doesn't come through, it's not the end of the world. It's a video, what are they going to do with it? Um, anywho, uh, a couple of weeks ago when I went to Elon Lodge for my eventing, um, I get a phone call from Andy on the way there um, saying, Tor, I've just had a cheque for $500 land on my front doormat from MGV. Uh, so obviously I start laughing my head off and my mum, who's driving, pulling the trailer, is just like, what's so funny? So I have to tell her. Um, I thought she would be quite horrified at the thought that I'd done something like that and spread it around the world. Um, but no, she was quite, quite not, not proud or pleased, but she found it quite funny and uh, then took the cheque that night to the pub to show everyone. Um, so yeah, now the whole village knows as well, whoop de doo um, So yeah, going to be on MTV, me and Smarty. Um, we don't know when, uh, at the minute it's just being aired in America. Um, but yeah, the, the show is, is called DJ and the Fro, it's um, animation like these two guys, it's kind of like a Beavis and Butthead sort of set up. Um, they so basically sat at a computer showing each other funny clips and stuff they find on YouTube and we're one of them. So yeah, we got paid and we're making a TV appearance. Um, probably not my proudest moment, but I find it quite funny, um, as do most people that have <laughs> come across that video. Um, so yeah, slightly shameful. but kind of fun at the same time, huh? I'm not really going to be doing anything on YouTube for a while now because today is Friday. In a week's time I will be in Portugal. I'm leaving next Thursday morning at a stupid o'clock in the morning. Um, going down to Stansted, then flying to Porto, getting picked up from Porto by Antonio, who owns Hippocos. Um, then staying there for a month and working and riding and, I don't know, grooming. Um, next weekend, for example, Gonzalo, who's the international show jumper, um, he has an international show somewhere, I don't know where. Um, but yeah, it'd be his first one since he broke his shoulder a couple of years ago. Um, 
I'm sure it'd be good, it'd be loads of fun. I'm hoping that maybe the Whitakers might be there so I can stalk them. Um, but yeah, he's basically said that I could go so I can start talking to some big names and stuff, which would be really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, so anyway, I got cut off yesterday, the battery and the camera run out. Um, so yeah, I need to finish it off today. It took me, didn't really have time to finish it off yesterday. Um, yeah, Saturday morning now. Um, I'm about to go off and do some show jumping. Um, it's a trailblazers competition sort of thing at Bellevue in Leicester, uh, where I'm taking Pikey uh, Cath's horse, which should be kind of interesting. Uh, I've jumped him twice in the last two weeks. Um, he's not kept at the same yard as Smarty anymore, so I don't really get to see him that much. Um, so yeah, going to compete him. I don't actually know if he's done anything like this before. Uh, I know he can get round the course fine, but I don't know if he changed the atmosphere or not. Um, before Cath had him, he is supposed to have done like eventing and stuff. Um, and then she bought him because, well, he was a sell because he wasn't quick enough around across country. Um, but then a few months after Calf had him, she found out he actually wasn't the horse that she thought he was. Um, and she bought, well, she'd been sent, delivered something else anyway, that was about two or three years younger than what was advertised. So I don't actually know if he's done anything like this before. Um, I'm sure he'll be fine. He usually is. He's not mental. He's just a bit daft got an attention span of a gnat. So yeah, that's my day today. Um, to be quite cool. Uh, first of all, going to see Smarty. He was sound yesterday, which is good. Um, but he was still on butte. Um, taking him off the butte today and see how it goes tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> didn't realise until last night when I started editing this video uh, how much well, how long I'd spoken for. Um, clearly, I can talk for England. And I also thought of loads of other things I could have said, but I'll keep it longish and not longer because, let's face it, no one really wants to know everything about me. I'm not that interesting. So, yeah, there you go. There's my 10 facts. Um, so, yeah, thanks everyone for watching and putting up with me babble on forever. Um, I know that I'm not the most exciting person in the world, but I thought it would be quite nice to get to know me a little bit more. Because um, let's face it, I don't really know anyone on YouTube particularly. So I thought if I start this, maybe other people might start doing it as well. Um, oh, I want to thank um, Olivia, again, <laughs> uh, for coming with me today. Bless her, She's, um, she came with me on Tuesday. Uh, to do some show jumping and it absolutely chucked it down and she got absolutely soaked and didn't grumble once so yeah I'm really really appreciating that she's coming with me stay again bless her um, she's also um, the camera woman so thank you for that as well um, and yeah it should be a good day it's sunny out at the minute so fingers crossed it'll stay like that and um, yeah let's go have some fun